being real with you, like, back then, it was, it was way easier than it is now. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, the fact that I did the Ricky Bobby on a Wednesday night, and I'm talking about I gave it to my manager Thursday night. By Friday, he told me I'm finna perform at Rhythm City on Sunday. Rhythm City at the time was the hottest spot in Dallas on Sunday. Talking about shutting down every venue. And when I'm talking about that's my first time ever performing a song. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was, I didn't even know the words to the song. We just got on that stage. And when I performed it, it was like the crowd had already knew it. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody was just vibing to it. People was watching the dance and it like they just did it. After that, I'm walking off stage, G-Rock was like, say, that's the hit. And then after that, it was like, it just took off. Because back then, everybody supported everybody. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm talking about, I had other rappers out there passing out my flyers. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to MVR. Because at the time, they had the Bobby B song. Mm -hmm. But it was one of those things where we gonna help each other get on. And now it's not like that. You know what I'm saying? You got people that, they don't want to help each other. For the simple fact, they don't want one to outshine each other. But back then, I'm talking about all the artists supported each other. You know what I'm saying? Anytime somebody was finna drop something, everybody was tweeting it. Or, or uh, back then, you know, MySpace, MySpace. and stuff like that. You know, they're like, oh, they got their songs on the playlist. So it was just like, anytime you went to a Dallas artist page, you're gonna hear other Dallas artists on their page to the point to where it was like. A you, bubble you, effect. Yeah, it was a bubble effect. You putting each other on. And so, like, with Ricky Bobby talking about... How big did that song actually go, though? When I say... Like, it, like how far? Like, Ricky, I, I did this show in Germany. They wanted me to go to France, all that. Like, I still get calls to this day. People want me to come to Dubai, you know what I'm saying? People want me to come to Africa. It's like, no matter what all these people are out here saying, no matter what you say about b -Hum, it's just one of those things. Like, like you got to check my stats, check my records, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm like, I, I sit here every day, Ricky Bobby dropped in 08. I ain't had a job since. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't hustle. I don't, I don't sell no drugs. I don't do nothing. Right. Take care of my kids. But I ain't work no job. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So people can say what they want, but it's just it's all about your grind and your consistency. Right. You know, we have uh, debates all the time around here, and they, they're quick to say who fell off. And, you know, they not, they not with you 24-7, so yeah, they don't know yeah, what you're yeah. doing. But... But what do you have that's gonna to top that? Because you started off so hot that it's kind of hard to backdoor that. I think I think what it was is that like just being just being nine thousand with it. I done had songs to top Ricky Bobby, but for the simple fact that with my whole career it was it was a transition. Cause like I said when I first started, you had everybody supporting everybody. Mm -hmm. Then it was to the point to where when you see me, you see me on BET, you see Duran on BET. You know what I'm saying? You people get to thinking like, well. I know if they can do it, I can do it. So it went to one of those things where instead of supporting hate to hate, it, it, and I, I won't even just, just say hate or jealousy. It was more of people started saying, okay, instead of helping them keep moving, I'ma just focus on myself, mm -hmm. or I'ma try to get me an artist and build them to do the same thing. And it, and it kind of was like that was like the damn that started to be the downfall of everything because everybody was so focused on oh well how can I make money that you did where you would have people that didn't want to rap think that they could rap and start rapping right. and they like it, it knocked down the support the fans became rappers so there was no more fans to support the people you know what I'm saying like you like just being real when I did Ricky Bobby G-Rock would throw a show at Rhythm City the night he would hear people was coming in to go and perform at other clubs. And I would shut that city down. I would shut the club down just off of my name. People wouldn't even go to the other spots because they would come and see me perform. You know what I'm saying? And it was like, not just me, other Dallas artists as well. But for the simple fact that the, for Dallas artists to have that kind of impact when it came to big name artists from like, like they was bringing Bun B, they brought Rick Ross, you know what I'm saying? Like they bring down big name artists. And for Dallas artists to be able to shut it down to where you wouldn't even go see these major artists, that's when it was support, you know what I'm saying? And then it just went from people stopped supporting to saying, well, let me try rapping. Well, it's let me ask you this. Um, I talk to a lot of artists and they, they seem fed up with the dance movement. Yeah. And, and, and you, you, your song was based off of a dance, but do you think that there's enough room for that still? I, I put it like this, like, 
everybody said what they say about dance rap. And they say what they say about dancing and all of that. But if you ask people that knew me, the dance, that was my first dance song I ever did. Am I supposed to stop the money? You know what I'm saying? You don't stop the money. If that's the song that the world chose to go, Shit, I right, then. You gonna ride that way. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? And then what's <clears throat> like, what was bad about it is, you have people saying, oh, I'm from there. We don't do all that. But the, but the main thing everybody was claiming was Dallas Boogie. So why would you hate on somebody's success instead of riding that wave? If you're not a dancer, that's cool. You ain't have to be a dancer. But you can get on a track with somebody. Because I reached out to a lot of artists. Um, hey, you want to try to jump on this track? Try to jump on this track? And they're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it never would get done. But at the same time, just to say, somebody heard you. Because it just, I'm just being real. Everybody knew who Charlie Boy was underground. Mm -hmm. When I put Charlie Boy on the Ricky Bobby remix, and I put that song out nationwide, next thing you know, Charlie Boy got a deal for I Look Good. He don't dance. He wasn't on the song talking about dancing. But just for the simple fact, it's called it's a support system. You help people out. But when you when you have your pride in the way sometimes, your pride will mess you out on your dreams. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. They say that, oh, you dance rap, you dance rap. But at the same time, what are people still doing in the club? You still dancing. No matter how hard you is, you still dancing. Tupac, the most gangster rapper as it is, he was a dancer. He went to school for dancing. He went to school for dancing, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you have to learn to talk down on somebody that's trying to help their family and help the city for doing something that everybody doing. No matter how hard you is, you dance. Whether you at home with your family, whether you in the club, no matter what, you could be as gangster as you want, you still do some kind of dance. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, I, to me, I think I think it's funny. Because, just being real, what songs have blew up out of Dallas since me and Darrell? Um, T-Real and Prince Rick, that's that's really it. Exactly. That's really it. It's only T-Real and Prince Rick. Like, Trilly and Prince Rick, they, they is... They the only people after us, you know what I'm saying? So you can't knock what put the city on. Cause at the end of the day, like they saying all these songs, people saying, oh, only people know outside know when you come to our city is B Hemp and DeRoe. Real shit. So why would you knock somebody that people know instead of supporting them? Cause at the end of the day, I, I never been I never been a cocky nigga, I never been a hoe ass nigga. Anybody hit me up, I support them. I support so many people, support support so many artists, mm. and do stuff for anybody. Get a, get a shot off my back to people. But at the end of the day, it's like, when it's time for me to do something, I don't get that respect. Like, just being real. Mm. 2012, in the beginning of 2013, I was the only Dallas artist that had songs on both radio stations. You know what I'm saying? I had three songs on the radio. But if you listen to if you listen to everybody, oh, that nigga Hemp ain't doing nothing. So like I, I drop songs. Every song I drop Shit, gets really? on the radio. Not from no, oh, this nigga he in politics. No. It's because I fuck with people. You know what I'm saying? Like I can I can admit right now. I don't have fans off of my songs or my music. I have fans off of the type of person I am. You know what I'm saying? Because right. people can hate me all day. But when they meet me, they be like, damn that nigga hell cool. I I'll raise I'll raise off of supporting people that support me. Cause if it weren't for these people supporting me, I wouldn't be where I was. Right.